what happens to people in relationships. I see it with men and women uh, about a sense of loss, the loss of the individual self. And I don't think enough attention is placed on that area. So when we do join up with someone, we do go into a place that forms the us and the we. And what happens to that, the individual yearning? What happens to our longings in life just because we've met someone? Where do they all go, our wants and desires? And they can't all be met in a relationship. They absolutely can't. And as, as all of the processes stack up and life gets more and more serious, there's a lot less space for that. You know, you throw in a kid or two. You tell me a man who's got a lot of free time or a woman. Everyone's stretched, they're burdened. Many are getting burnt out these days. Um, so I just, I think that there, that we live with a loss and, the, and that's the loss of the individual self. We, we don't make room for it, and especially when we have young kids. It's kind of like, how dare you think of going and having that time, you know, when I'm exhausted? Mm. Can you even think of going off and doing that, having nights off when I just need to put my head down? And it's very real for, for both people in the relationship. But I think it's I, one of the things I encourage my couples, especially when they've had young kids, is how do you make sure that there's room for you as an individual? Because if that, if you can fill that cup up, you can bring so much more back into your relationship, your own life, your work, whatever, wherever you go. We need to remember that our partner wasn't put on this earth for us. They're separate. We met a completely separate human being who wasn't who wasn't destined to be our partner. We might have met someone on a holiday, like my couple in the book, you know, they met on a holiday in the mountains. Yes. We meet someone and it, it's not like, oh, goodness, you're the only person in the world I could ever have been with. I mean, really, that's a very limited mindset when people think that. 7.8 billion people, I reckon I could find a few partners in that. So, <laughs> but they're not, they're not here just for us. And if we can remember that every person in a relationship, have their, they have their own individual self that needs to develop, be nourished in the way they want to do it. And we're not going to always get alignment in that. My partner and I are really, really different people. We're really different and we're continuously having to navigate the differences between us and how and, and how I get my individual self-nourished, which I'm very good at, by the way, <laughs> I've learned <laughs> after all these years. Um, but it's just it, it's a continuous kind of navigation and we must never take ourselves as, as an individual off the agenda ever.